guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be testing a skincare product, a new sheet mask from a brand that I had not heard of before but saw an entire display of when I went into my local shopper's drug mart. Now this is a bubble sheet mask so I'm hoping it's going to do something interesting and entertaining to watch. Usually I would talk about the sheet mask and the company and all of that before trying the product but I will put the mask on so we can watch it bubble. I'm supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes, but no more than 15, which is concerning when there's that much of a warning. So we can talk as it bubbles. Uh, I will open this and get it on my face. So I've got it opened up. It has, at this point, what smells like kind of a medicinal smell to it. And I always do this thing with sheet masks where I forget to bring a mirror in here so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'll have to use the viewfinder. It is very black and very wet and already kind of foaming so let me get this going yeah there were bubbles across the eye holes in the sense of like when you go to blow bubbles as a kid and you pull the wand out and the bubble mixture is across that was kind of happening which makes me a little worried like is there soap in this and is that going to get into my eyes because I have wide set eyes, so I always find that these things get a little closer to the outside of my eyes than I would generally like. Okay. There we go. The little record button is telling me the current time so I can keep track of 10 minutes on there. This is very slick and very foamy feeling. So let me just wipe my hands off here. Ooh, I'm a little concerned about this staying in place while I talk, but let's do the best we can do. Because <laughs> this isn't disconcerting to watch while I talk. So I came across this brand completely by chance. As I said, I was walking into my local shopper's drug mart, which is a, a drugstore, sort of all-purpose store. I think it's like CVS in the States. It's our main um, pharmacy store, drugstore here in Canada. So uh, I'll insert some footage that I took with my iPhone of what the entire display looked like. It was mostly masks, like sheet masks, also some eye masks, some lip masks, a uh, foot peel, and it was all Korean beauty. So I haven't actually said this yet. It's called OK. So you can see it's got the little OK on there with the little Korean writing underneath. Um, and it's the, this is the bubble sheet mask. Uh, exfoliates and cleanses. It says made in Korea with a little heart with Korean in it. And it says happiness every day. So I looked at the ones that were there and there were a lot of really neat looking ones. Uh, there was like a coffee mask and these weren't super expensive. Like I think this was around $5 to get this. I'm gonna have to stop touching this. Um, about $5 to get this, which I thought was reasonable enough. There were some different prices between the different products. So I came home and started doing a little bit of research and I think this company seems really good, but I'm a little bit conflicted, like not in a bad way. But I'm curious about your opinion on something that I found out. So this is a brand that touts itself as a Korean beauty brand. And when you go on their website, they talk about their background as being inspired by uh, Korean beauty, especially SoCo, like uh, South Korea beauty, which I guess makes sense. It's not going to be North Korea. But they talk about the different districts in South Korea where you know, there's there's inspiration for like fashion and skincare and all of that. This very much looks like, uh, you know, the made in Korea in the heart, the little Korean things. But when you actually look at the back here, it is made in London. Um, it's not made in London. It's manufactured for the company is actually a London company, even though it is made in Korea. And it got me thinking about whether they should really be calling themselves a Korean beauty brand because they're not the company is not Korean. Like. It's made in Korea, but they never actually show the founders or anything like that. And obviously the founders, maybe not obviously, but it seems like the founders are, you know, British. And like, again, there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like it's more authentic to say like Korean style beauty. Um, it is a beautiful website. It's very well done. They have a whole list of like the ingredients and stuff like that, where you can do a glossary of the ingredients. You can look up the different benefits. Um, they talk like very in depth about their inspiration from Korea. It's just something about it being called Korean beauty when it's not made in Korea. Like there's other sites like Soko Glam, I think it is, where I believe that's a British or an American site, but they are providing a channel for sales to, um, you know, North America of actual like Korean beauty brands. And this is 
like is it what's your opinion on that is it a korean beauty like is it is it korean beauty is this you know is this that if it's inspired by that they researched all of that but they themselves the owners and makers of this are not korean i know i'm going off totally on tangent here but i keep going back and forth in my mind like i'm trying to think of something that is like very us based so let's talk about like i'm not from the states but um, i was thinking of like something that's manufactured that is very us and one of the things i think of is like pickup trucks <laughs> like you often think if you're thinking of like pickup truck brands as like us brands like chevy um you know gmc ford all that kind of thing so if you had a company that was let's say a korean company where they said we went to the states we studied how they made these pickup trucks we went back to korea we made all of our own designs for them uh you know planned the entire thing sent the plans had it manufactured in the u.s and then brought back here to korea and we are a u.s car maker <laughs> like are they though or is it like u.s style cars i know i'm totally going off on a tangent here um all this to say that beautiful website wonderful design great information about their products in what i would call korean style beauty but i would love to hear your thoughts on that because i know this is a totally a tangent but it just got me thinking so again they make a whole bunch of different masks and really neat looking things like many multi-part masks which looks like it would be a really awesome way to do like a spa day experience and can we also just notice how crazy this is getting at this point so that is really cool all the different products that they have so this mask that i have on bubbling away right now is the bubble sheet mask it's the okay bubble sheet mask uh, it says here the unique formula in the okay bubble mask reacts with the oxygen in the air to form tiny bubbles when you place the mask on your face the bubble sheets reaction works to gently exfoliate skin helping to create a smooth and radiant complexion the foaming bubbles work alongside willow bark extract cinnamon bark and soybean to leave skin with guang glow uh somebody the editor beauty editor from marie claire referred to it as quote the most hilariously amazing sheet mask so the ingredients in here are willow bark and cinnamon bark and the benefits is that it exfoliates and it purifies and after you remove this after 10 minutes but no more than 15 this is sliding me on my face a little bit um it says to remove the mask and rinse your face in warm water it's gotten really good reviews but i always find that things get good reviews on the company's website because i don't think they really leave up bad reviews on there and it is supposed to be for all skin types so it is foaming it does make me wonder when i take this off sorry i just got in close there for like a close-up look i mean this foam on the outside is not really doing anything because it's not up against my face you know so i shouldn't stress too much about not touching the outside of it although you can see how foamy it's gotten because it's what's happening under the mask that actually makes a difference. And you can see like where I've touched it to like move it up and more around my face that it, the bubbles kind of disperse a little bit there. Ooh. But it is very cool and bubbly and the smell to it, again, it does have a slightly medicinal kind of smell. So it has been 10 minutes and I'm gonna peel this off and we're going to see what's on my face. So on this side of the mask, it's, it's really not a great smell. It kind of smells a little bit like being at the hairdresser with like the dye smells. Okay, so you can see there is the bubbly foam actually on my face. And on this side of the mask, the bubbles aren't there because as they were forming, they were sort of like pressing into my skin. I mean, it's all just foamy on there right now. So I am going to dispose of this. I am going to rinse off my face with warm water as it says, and then I'm going to come back and tell you how it all looks and feels back in a moment i am back after having washed it off my face uh does it feel any smoother for being exfoliating mask not really <laughs> uh i mean the most interesting feeling about it was after i had taken the mask off all the little bubbles that were left on my face started sort of popping and it just felt tingly all over my face in like a tickly kind of way not in a burning kind of way it definitely did not irritate my skin at all it does feel like it put some moisture into it which is nice um you know maybe it clarified the skin a little bit it is looking like it has taken the redness down in my skin which is always something good um so overall would i use one of their masks again i think so i think there's some just really neat innovative ones that they have they're at a good price point 
Um, they're accessible to me because they're there in Shoppers Drug Mart in store for me, which is always nice. Um, and yeah, like it feels fine. I don't think it's done anything like magically exciting. Um, but you know, it was a fun experience for the mask. I was originally thinking like, oh no, my lip is tingling, but it actually was again, those bubbles kind of popping before I rinsed it off of my face. You know, nothing irritated my eyes, which was one of the things that I was worried about because I seem to have sensitive eyes. Um, and apart from, you know, my question about whether this is really a Korean beauty brand, um, I think the masks are really neat and I think there's some fun stuff in there that you could use to try out sort of different mask experiences. So let me know what you think, especially with my big rant there at the beginning about, is this a Korean beauty company? Uh, leave all of that in the comments down below. I do try to respond to every comment that I get, sometimes a little delayed on it, but I do get there. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, I'll make my face pop up right here so you can subscribe. I'll put another video down here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.